when things that are happening outside the, the devil I know that it's not happy at all he will try to formulate any tricks that can try to minimize the power of the breakthroughs of life but until we are here and when you preach when you praise and preach and then this is later and then and then and then then this morning, early this morning, if I'm not mis mistaken, early this morning, oh, or even last night, because I was tired. I was very tired, by the way. Uh, I was very tired. I felt something went out of my body, out of me, and then I just became very tired. But I was so very, very, very tired. And then, okay, uh, born and feel him. Let feel him It never bad to them. Smuggle with the, with the time. Baba Kulmanga Jesus, when he prayed, he said, Yes, I prayed, Father, and then let them be one as because we are one. That's the prayer of Jesus Christ. And then last time they taught us that the power of the church, this means there is a power in the church. That is why the devil, one thing he must do, he must try to attack the church because the church has got the power inside of it. There is a power, there is a movement of the church. That can heal the nations. That can rebuild the nations. That can restore the, the broken hearted. Because there is a power inside of it. Because when Jesus said. When, when John Baptist said. And then they repent. He was speaking to the people. He was speaking to individuals. And then like me and you. Say repent. Because the kingdom of God is what? Is at hand. This means your breakthrough, your life, your winning power is at hand. This means your breakthrough is in your hands. Your healing restorations is within your hands. But what you must do is that lay the foundation of the repentance within your life so that when the, the breakthrough comes within your life, find you in the right platform. Amen. Yenga ye funto dam, yenga ye funto ba inga bo yaban yaban salibe to no 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 no. But Jesus lay you or you received this power on the right platform. Amen. That is why you cannot mix the old oil in the car and with the new oil. This means there will be no change at all. That is why when we service the aircraft every day and every time. We are taking out the fuel, number one. Number two, we are taking out the oil. And then those, both of them, we are taking them to, for the inspection, that the oil is still okay, or the, the fuel is still okay. If it's not okay, you will find some metals, metals inside of oil. You will find some metals inside of, inside of fuel. So now that is why you cannot mix them together. Is either you leave the old one and get into the new platform of Christ so that you'll see the, the goodness of God. Now, thank you very much. You taught us a very great things about the power of the church. I was trying to calculate it why, why the devil is attacking. Or first started with if. Why first started with if? Why did he started with Adam? Doesn't mean the snake doesn't know where the Adam is. 
snake know exactly where Adam is. He didn't know that Adam is out of his place. Then he can go and attack them if. Thank God for your revelation again. When you see the word if or if women, what did he taught us? We must know who is that? Is what? It's the church. Wherever we see a woman in the Bible, you must be thinking about the church. And a church is all bodies. Thinking about your ministries, thinking about your breakthrough, thinking about your businesses, thinking about your, your health wise, thinking about yourself. But when the devil come and challenge you and said, no, 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 no. If you can eat this, you will know. You will know what? Because you already knew that you are born again. How did you get it then? Paul, thanks God, because when they talk about the disposition of Paul, 14 of them. But when we, we go to the book of Philippians chapter number 1, verse number 21, that is why Paul said, when I you know, when I die, is what? It's gain. I'm right. It's gain. It's gain. When I die in Christ, it's gain. What does it say? Quickly, just read for me quickly. I can't hear. For me to live is Christ, but to die is what? It's gain. So meaning that the past are moved or are aware of me. So that Christ may reign within my life. For me to live is what? Is Christ. So for the church to live is what? Is Christ. For the dying also is what? Is gain. Why is it gain? Because I am in, in Christ. So now, allow me to say, don't hate the body of Christ. Let's go to our Bible, Second Chronicles, chapter number twenty-four, verse one and two. Second Chronicles, chapter number twenty-four, verse one and two. Sona <laughs> Chesoki Moloki Waka Ukete Tindu Duro Gia Mura Tawanta Father, this is your word. I pray. We are listening, O God. Speak mightily and move us to another level of life. To understand, Father God, the mission with us. To understand, Father God, how far you want us to be. How blessed you want us to be. How much life, Father God, you prepared for our lives. Father God, to go to another dimension. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray. Any spirit that came from spirit of a heart, spirit of devil. Father, I'm standing as the man of God. I rebuke it right now. I command it to go in Jesus' name and get out from us. We are not part and parcel of the whole, but 
we are part and parcel of the kingdom of God. Father, I break in any elements that the devil is trying to my God to attract in us in order to destroy us. I'm standing as a man of God and say, Father, here we are. We need you, God. We need your guidance. We need, Father God, your protections. In Jesus' name, Father, I pray and it takes your road in Jesus' name. I thank you and I bless you. Amen and amen. When Joas was 97 years old, that is where he became what? The king. That is a very... You are starting to walk. Is it to go to school? You are still, you are tapping into the throne. Ah, this means you are tapping into money. You are tapping into rulership. Even Solomon, that is where Solomon began to ask God, "I need your wisdom." Because I know the child. As soon as the child becomes into seven years, they can talk. I'm right. They can speak, even though they don't know much, but they can speak. Solomon asked God the wisdom. He doesn't know the background of a Jewish. You know how much Jewish uh, were educated by that time? Subscribe, sir. Right? You cannot even challenge them. Who just about when you talk about repent because the kingdom of God is coming, but they can always question you. They can always give you the questions. Meaning that not to say they don't know what you are talking about. They know exactly what you are talking about, but the mission that they have just to disturb you, not to proceed in life. That is the mission the devil had. That is why he disturbed Eve or the church during the time of Eve. So that the church must not move on. That is the first thing that he did. He must plant what is not of God inside of them. So that the church must not have the power over the darkness. That is why when you read it, that is why when you read Genesis chapter number one, verse number two, it says, after God has created everything, then the darkness also came in. The devil came from nowhere. He just came in. From nowhere. That's why the book of Job, when God asked him, because I thank God you are saying, you have said it enough. You have said it and I understood. That God didn't request the devil, whatever. Just ask him, oh, what are you want here? Why are you here, master? Why are you here? You tell me, why are you here? I can see you so job. I can see you so job. Because the devil was made by God. I'm right. I'm right. Satan, I grew up with my You are the human being. The problem with the Namanya Maga. I as I was in a two dismissal. But I by Lenin, I by Lenin Kama, the Bamtem, Miss Agarma to Satan. But he had not previously was in Lucifer. But the time when he was Lucifer, he was a worshiper. I'm right. He was the person who was worshiping God. But the problem of Christ is when they have a difference with God. It's when they have a different God. That is why God asked him, what do you want here among my children? Then he started to question about it. Remember when, when Joshua, who's that? Moses. When Moses died, he was also fighting of his body. He was fighting for his body. He wanted to know, but what? The devil always is there to he likes the things of other people, your blessings. Once you become blessed, then they come to you. How do you bless? How do you bless? Don't talk about Jesus Christ, but tell us how do you bless? 
That is how the devil is coming with the invitation. I mean, he looks like, but he's not. He said to Jesus, Jesus, if you can buy to me, if you can bow down for me, listen, all the sheep and these people that belong to you. Actual fact, these are the people of God. But now, he wants to change or twist the truth and say, if you can bow for me, this is yours. Just showing what belongs to you. Said this you. Actual fact, I want to tell you, the person who knows your future better than what we can say is the devil first. Before you can know that tomorrow you are blessed, is the first first person will know is the devil. Let me give you an example. Let me say you are going to be a policeman. You applied and all procedures they just went through. Believe me, the day before. The day before, tomorrow you have to go for your last process and complete everything. You have done it much, it's enough. Look what happened now. Then the devil sent someone to come and torment you. Provoke you. After he has provoked you, Jehanum club. As a club, the very same person where he's going to police station. Where you have to come the following day to take an interview. And then it's coming to raise a case against you. That's going to be happening now. You think you're going to be taken up? He knows the best for you before you come. That is why in the first Corinthians chapter number 2 verse number 9. It says the eyes didn't see. Even the prophets didn't prophesy about it. Even the people didn't see about your progress, about your breakthrough. But the devil is the first man who met Jesus Christ. Not disciples, but the devil said, if you can bow, I will give you this. Always it's got in some exchange with But look this man. That's why I'm saying my topic is don't ever in your life try to hurt the body Becoming so difficult now. It's like you hurt yourself. You are the body. Don't hurt the body of Christ. But you yourself, you take a hammer. I don't know either you'll be completed in mind or not. But you take a hammer and then you heal your own finger. You take your hammer and put it on them. <laughs> on the aisle. Can you do it? Can you do it? Can you do it? No. But this man, he was protected by the prophet Zachariah. When things were not good, you will find some other people who are guiding you. I'm right. Just imagine, seven years old, he became a king. You think that he knows? No. You think that he's got all the backgrounds of the king's hood? No. But he became a king. Now he's become a king. That is why when you go to Mariah, then they say Muhulu. Muhulu, you started to wear one. The minute you started to wear this jacket, then you become a Muhulu. You started to become a Muhulu on a... As long as you wear it, you become a Muhulu. But I'm like, the people who are coming from that side, I'm just, I'm, I'm just hearing them. And then they just say, Muhulu, Muhulu. The first language you say, hey, I'm going to my turn. But they don't see the breakthrough that Jesus died and, and they rose again. The breakthrough that Jesus is praying for them. That this means the devil is removing the mentality that they got the power over their lives. They can decree and declare their day and then it shall be so. But he's trying to remove in that kind of power within their life. But he give them a negative format. This man becoming what? A king in a young age. He found old and young people that surrounded him and bow before him and say, King, King. Read for me four and five. Four, five. Read for me five. Read, read for me number five. And he gathered together the priests and the Levites and said to them, Go out on the road. Unto the cities of Judah 
and gather of all Israel money to repair the house of your God from year to year. The time when Joas was becoming a king, he was a red person. <laughs> you can see, he was a red person. He was a red person. That, that is why he sent old men, not Bafanyan, and not Melama Bafanyan, because Bafanyan was so tired in his strap. But he sent the old men to go and gather all Israel to repair what? The house of God in Israel. I'm right. I'm right. Go back to verse 21. Go back to verse 21. Quickly, quickly. And they conspired against him and stoned him with stones at the commandment of the king. Then the very same man who sent the people to the nation to go and gather in them to build the house of God. Remember that man was getting strength. He was getting tribulation because of whom? Zachariah. Zachariah was a prophet by that time. When Zachariah was a prophet of that time, and then he was one who has defended him. In all the area was one who was trying to recognize him, his dignity as a king. But now he turned things upside down. In verse number 21, now he becoming to stone whom? He becoming to stone Zachariah. The person who was stoned here is Zachariah. Prophet Zachariah. The person who seated there and hide himself. I was so I was so touched yesterday when the a certain illustration he was saying he was talking about the three thoughts you know thoughts the three thoughts they go they went out and haste they haste and got money after they got money then the money now is in their heads is under their control now. They are alone. They have to decide. And then they decided to send one of them to the shop to go and buy something. While that guy went to the shop to buy some food, he touched me. He touched me that one. That if you can meet outside the will of God, actual fact, whatever you think in the corruption to someone, someone, the very same person is. Trying, is thinking corruption against you as well. Look what happened the story here. That person, while he's buying the foods for them, he's just thinking about the bags of money. If those people they can die, that man <laughs> belongs to him. Those bags, then he win it. Then he bought the poison. And then he put the poison upon them. The foods. But also they are planning against him. They said, I got a million, I got you got a million, but we can share this one. We can share this one and then we can get the extra. Look what happened. They say they told themselves that if he arrived here, we killed him. Definitely they killed him. As soon as the man came, they killed him. For the sake of money. After they killed him, also, that man is already present the foods. Then they sit down and eat their foods. They enjoy the foods. And then they also what? Die. They died. I mean, he died. They killed him. And then also he poisoned them. They died. Who is the man going to? Who win the battle in between? Whatever things can be planned outside the will of God. Definitely for sure. Whatever you think you're wrong with someone, then someone, the very same someone is thinking wrong about you. So now this man, he was highly favored by God. He was highly anointed by God to become a king. And then why he became a king, I think in his mind, he said the man who was disturbing my progress, that I wanted to do what I wanted to do is this man, Zachariah. The Bible said he killed him. After he killed him, 
Look what happened. You can just go for verse number 22. Verse number 22. Quick. So, towards the king remembered not the kindness which your idea, his father had done to him. Just hold on there. Then now he started to remember the kindness of his father. The Bible says his father was kindness, was kind. He was kind to that man. But he started to remember. Why did he remember before he can start his corruption deeds? Why cannot do that? Because always thinking for himself. You must know it. That's why the Bible is fighting saying, no, 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 no. The jealousy must go away from anybody. So this man now is thinking about it. The kindness of his, his father. He said his father was kind. Even though the, 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 the enemies was trying to destroy the buildings. But now his father was kind. But that man put the kindness of his father aside. He decided to do what? He decided to do what? Get on. And he slew his son. And when he died, he said, The Lord look upon it and require it. That is the prayer of his father. If you have done that, the Lord did what? He says that his prayer is, The Lord may do what? Read it again. But slew his son, which means he has killed his son. Yeah. And when he died, he said, the Lord look upon it and require it. The Lord look upon it and require it. Require it. Can it's I very painful. Yeah. Uche hova, makagubone loko, agupindi sene. Uche hova, makagubone loko, tenu uche hova, ite njani? You're trying to, to get out or to lose the fame of the Lord. The minute you lose the fame of the Lord, suddenly, automatically, the fame of the man also is fed up. It's going away from you. May the Lord see this and call you to account. Yeah. You can fail. And the Lord, the Lord see you and call to what? To account. To account. Yes. You can, but, but the Lord God, you cannot mock God. You cannot. Whatever a person is doing, either good or evil, God is going to reward. Now this one says, may the Lord do what? See this and call you to account. See this and call him to do what? To be account. After, who's killing whom? Cain and Abel. Cain after he killed Abel. And then when he comes before God, what's wrong about Pretension is, is huge in life. But when I pretend I will go, 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 it's big, it's large, it's in large. That man, he killed someone. He said, he still to go to God and say, forgive me, Lord. I've done wrong. But he just when there's a man who's completed and then God asked him, where is your brother? Amen. This means now you better do what? I can't do what? You are going to be accountable. Amen. Don't hate the body of Christ. Amen. Because God is not mocked. Amen. You cannot mock God. You cannot. Anything that you do, even if I'm not there, even if you are not there, yeah. is watching. When you go to the second kings, in second kings, when when Ahab, remember Ahab was good. Remember Ahab was a, was the son, was the child of, of kings, and then he became a king. But also Jezebel, also Jezebel was what? Was also from the family of kings who died, right? But Jezebel was having the power over, over Ahab. Ahab was, was just a king. Look. <laughs> even, even, I, okay, let me show you something. 
Even if. Let me leave that one. Let me leave that one. Let me put this one aside. Elisha, Elijah was a prophet and the greatest man of the God. Greatest man of, of the prophets. I'm right. The man of God. I agree. But uh, Jezebel said one word. After he killed all the prophets, all the bad prophets, but Jezebel said one word. One word. Elijah began to shake him. To become shake. He said, oh, why? why that man is got a power above, above all? But the devil said the word. He's becoming shaken. Why? That is why he ran away. But the time when Ahab was approaching Naboth concerning the vineyard, and then the vineyard and then that man demanded, he saw it is profitable. We can see you are prospered in your life. We can see the restoration that is happening about your life. We can see the breakthrough that is coming over your life. But look here. After he saw the, the breakthrough of Naboth over the finite, and then he came, please sell for me. Amen. Naboth said, the inheritance from our father cannot be sold. Cannot be sold. But because of that, that man went back to Ahab. I mean, Ahab went back to his, his wife. And then he said, no, 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 I'm trying to do that. But that man that doesn't want to sell it to me. Amen. That man doesn't want to sell it to me. And then the woman begin to do what? Conspire the missions. And he killed Naboth. But there comes Elijah. Elijah said, you are going to die that day. You are going to be accountable on it. You are going to die. You are going to die and complete that body. And then your blood will be sucking by the dogs. This means you are going to be buried being uncompleted. Don't ever try to hurt the body of Christ. These people have been ordained. These people have been platformed in one place. In the place of God. It is, it is the Akiwa Pesulwani Wesi saki elosani, saba profita nama, apostles. This means that place is ordained, is level. Anything that is ordained, nobody can challenge it and win the battle. No demons can challenge it and win the battle. If God blessed you, nobody, no evil can step before you and win the battle. Because you are being ordained by the high God. You have been ordained by the God who is above all. You have been ordained by the God who controls all. Don't ever try to challenge what has been ordained by God. But, but now, when we come into the book of Ezekiel, now I'm concluding my message now. The book of Ezekiel, chapter number 60, verse number 1. Arise and shine, for the glory of God is coming. Arise and shine. Now we need the saints to arise. We need the saints to say, now I'm ready to build the house of God. I'm, I'm speaking to the sons. I'm speaking to, 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 to men and women who understand God. Who understood God. Who God is. Arise. And shine for the glory of God is in your sight. Come storms, come wind. When God is in your sight, when God is on your sight, who can stand before you? Who can deny the progress? When God is in your sight, who can? Heaven, only the kingdom of heaven. I don't want it before me. If the devil stole what is good for me, I'd rather confront that kingdom. If the devil stole your sheep, I'd rather confront him. Because 
he's got his own sheep, he's got his own kingdom. I'd rather confront him and deal with him. Anything that is goes wrong, is anything that goes wrong is wrong. Verse number two, read it first. Verse number two, on Isaiah chapter number sixteen. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. No. Isaiah chapter number sixteen. Verse number two. Yeah, here. Okay, okay. Okay. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and cross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon you, and his glory shall be seen upon you. Even though you can be surrounded, even though you can be surrounded, by the darkness, this means the interference of the devil. I want to say that you are going to have a breakthrough. I was listening to another clip. Hey, sometimes, but I was listening to another clip. But we have one of them. We have one of them. But we have one of them. I don't know if someone saw that clip. I don't know if someone saw that clip. But we have one of them. 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 But promotion But who I am, because I'm black. This means also I'm stumbling block for someone. I'd rather be stumbling block for the devil. To steal your progress. Arise and shine. For the throne of the Lord is coming to you. But even though the darkness is doing what? It's covering. But now, a light and shine. This means it during the con con confusion that you are in, during the, the, the circumstances that you are in, arise. This means you have been given the power to arise. Why it is impossible to have been able to move forward. Arise. Amanda Lau. Arise. Pagama. Pagama. The glory of the Lord will shine upon you. Pagama! Even though things are not going well, Pagama! Even things are not good for you, but Pagama! Even... Just listen to this one that came. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and cross darkness the people. But the Lord... I just hold it. Behold, the darkness and what? Because of the anointing that is coming upon your life. Because of the breakthrough that is coming to your life. Satan is challenging my body. I am challenging my body. And I am serving my body. Doesn't fear anybody. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter how great you are. Famous you are, doesn't matter. The devil is not scared. Amen. That's why, say, even the cover that the, the darkness is coming all over the world of the earth. This means wherever you go. But this is the mandate that God has given to sons of men. These are the mandate that God has given the Christians. These are the mandate that God has given to you. It says during that time when things are not going well, when things are not working together, when things are not smooth for your life, to what? Arise. Arise. Sapagama Bazalwa. Arise and what? Shine. Who doesn't want to shine? We want to see your gift be shine. Amen. We want to see your breakthrough shine. We want to see the, the position that you applied for. We want to see it to, to come to you. We want to see you occupy that position. We want to see you be blessed. We want to see you be healed. Unga kali, unga kali, 
I'm sick, but today just talk about I'm healed. I'm healed. Kuluma Chow Tai, Kipumi is in Dwayne. Kipumi, it's in the Lego. But you can wear this in twenty cents. Sapum, Lapin, don't need twenty cents. Sapum, and the devil doesn't care who you are. But if you can arise, he cannot stand before you. That is why Esau cannot kill. Couldn't kill Jacob. Why? Because you cannot kill an unrighted one. You cannot. Esau has the authority. All rights. Because Jacob has stolen his breakthrough. He's stolen everything belongs to him. But he's got a right to finish about him. But now is a challenge now. The challenge is here. You cannot kill an anointed one. Amen. Whatever God has ordained for you, nobody's got the right over your life and try to kill you. The gear that you have, that's what that is why you find the car, the cars is called the one gear. Yeah, no. There is another one is pulling on the first gear, gear, reverse side, in order to make things visible, in order to make things corrected, for driving forces to be corrected. And then there is number one. Number one is another nation, is another kind of people who can pull the chain. Power, but by, but by, but by fire, by, by force. By force. That is gear number one. We want to do it to our papa We want to do it. Yeah, papa, my formula is going to Yeah, yeah, papa, my little motor. Yeah, papa. What is number two? You are going to do What is three or four or five? Any person has got the pattern yeah. of the breakthrough. Don't undermine the gift that God has given to you. If you are a worshiper, stand there. That gear of worshiping, you challenge in the kingdom of darkness, wherever it is. You challenge in the devil, wherever he is. You challenge heaven. Whatever the position you are in, be proud of it. If you are the intercessor, ah, Sit with smile. And arise and shine in the midst of darkness. Amen. When things are not doing well, open your life. We are not doing well. Shangani is our Shangan. We kumbula lo muntu lo, kumbula lo ati dilu gisa pa esiki. Here we sit here, come on. Choke everyone, na kita hita juwa. But even though it's like that, God said, Arise and shine, because the glory of the Lord is upon you. Arise and shine. In the midst when things are difficult, arise and shine. Don't just arise, but you must shine. Because God is not mocked. 
Whatever he do, whatever he do, is what you're going to do what? You see? It's making sense now. God has laid his church upon the foundations of who? Of apostles and a prophet. This means there is no other foundations that will be made against this one. There will be no other foundations that will be trying to compete against this, this foundation. If you can try, remember this. You shall be what? Accountable. Whatever is laid by Christ is of Christ. They said Jesus prayed for it. This, this scripture of Daniel chapter number 11, verse number 32. That scripture. The people who knows their God, they shall be strong and exploit. That's what he said. They shall be what? Great exploit. You shall be great. You shall be great. You say great exploit. You're gonna be great. And be what? Exploit. I'm talking about the living church now. <laughs> I'm talking about the living church. I'm talking about the living church now. The living church shall be what? Strong and do great exploit. This means do great miracles. Do excel. Into coding to excel when you sing it here, you want to see the mountain move away from you, you want to see the mountain move away, even though God is the God of valley. If the valley is your stumbling block, not to see the great and the great things, we command it to level it up in the name of Jesus. In the mountain, because mountain has been built by God. Other people say mountain is the mountain, is the place of prayer, means the place of prayer. But if the mountain is blocking you for your breakthrough, Amen. we stand against it. Amen. Devil is a liar. He cannot stand before an anointed one. That man was anointed, ordained as a king at the age of seven. He didn't experience anything in life. He doesn't know how to kill a person. He doesn't know how to raise a person up. But that man in the age of seven, an experienced man, took over the throne. Then he ended up killing the prophets. He had, but I cannot blame him. I cannot blame him. Because he didn't experience anything. He didn't experience anything. That is why in Philippians chapter number one, verse number 21. Philippians chapter number one, verse number two. That's what you said. You just said. Say it, say it, say it. What he said? What he said? Oh, no, just forget it now. Now. Yeah. For me to leave this Christ, these people are going to pray together now. For me to leave this Christ. For me to leave this Christ. Even the days are darkened within your life. But for me to leave this Christ. We need you, we need you. We're going to pray.
Christ. So he put a leg on my 